Cedar Summit tent again. The Talos PR2. When I'm bringing this, I can fit a lot of stuff into my pack. Fiddly see the summit tent. Might just attach, make some of my own guy lines and attach them so I can avoid all the fiddliness of this tent. This time I've got the Cedar Summit Etherlite XT. It's my summer pad, but it's got an R value of um, 3.5 or 3.2 or something. So it should be warm enough for tonight. But after all this rain, I don't think it's going to be very cold. I'll let you know if I still think it's comfortable. Here we go. It's also got this um, pretty cool system. I haven't tried it yet, I just put it on for this trip. It's the Cedar Summit uh, pillow lock. So my little Cedar Summit pillow, this thing, this will um, stick onto the pad hopefully and won't move around in the night but we'll try that out now we'll see if it works that's pretty sweet look at this got the tent and tarp set up just in time starting to rain I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't rain on this trip but oh well Set my chair up and I'll have a coffee. Then I'll probably have to go scavenge for a bit of wood, I think. There's uh, a whole bunch of dry stuff on the rocks just up there. It looks really dead and dry, so. And it's not beach, it's manuka, which is a. It's still a pretty hard wood, but it will definitely burn better than the beach, I think. So that'll be a nice change, instead of huffing and puffing away at a wet beach fire. Time for a brew. The rain's kind of coming and going, it's not setting in it, I don't think. I don't know, it was supposed to rain, there was still a heavy rain watch warning in place for Nelson after the ginormous floods that have just taken place.
quite a bit of cloud coming in. I'm pretty sheltered here though behind this rock. Quite a bit of wind movement. All the fogs engulfing Mile Park. It's very quiet. I think I'm gonna have to start to collect some firewood soon and try not to get too wet. On my last camp, I got a bit wet. My down jacket got all kind of soaked. It wasn't very nice. I'll show you inside the tent. This is the setup we've got going on. Pretty nice. And this is just looking out into the Moa Park. Just gonna walk around now and try to get some wood. There's quite a lot of dead manuka up above where I got my tent pitch, and that's all. Looks to be dry, even after all this rain, I cracked a bit of it. It's doing pretty good. But it's starting to pack in a bit. The dead manuka. There's heaps of it. Looks really dry. Burn all that. Got all this wood. There's heaps of stuff just like this. Bring this back down to camp, get a little bit more, that should keep me going for ages. Man, that's real nice and dense. Need a chainsaw for this. This manuka wood though, it's like a, it's a dream to baton, it just splits. It's dry on the inside. You can even get through the knots, I'm trying to do that on beach. It's just not a nice process. This stuff is great. Bit of a knot here. So nice. Perfect little sausage. Got all the firewood prepared. If I start late, I might have to go get a little bit more, but should be enough for now, I think. About four o'clock. 
and it's just misty rain. Quite atmospheric, just sitting here, looking out. Probably like the fire in half an hour or so, and just chill and enjoy the ambience. For dinner, I've got um, beef burgers and cheese with Dijon and Waddy's tomato sauce again. So that's going to be pretty nice. They're a different burger patty than last time. Got them from Raywood Fresh, so we'll see how they go. I'm going to cook them in the Lewis Road Creamery butter, so that'll be pretty nice. Like it's going. Fire's going great. I think it's at a point where I can probably stop worrying about it now. probably hear this quite a bit of rain. I haven't got my new mic yet, um, the Sony mic to go with this camera. So I'm just using the in-camera mic, so the audio is probably not that good for this trip. But it should be fine. Can't be much worse than the GoPro. This is what I've got. The Deep Creek. Hazy IPA. The Crazy Hazy. It's got some pretty nice can artwork. I've had this one before. Passion fruit hazy, yeah, it's just super juicy, sweet passion fruit hazy. It's delicious. Good beer. It's my arch nemesis. The common wicker. He's been coming around my campsite ever since I was here. He was waiting for me. Mate, go away. Honestly, there's nothing here for you. Another piece of gear I think Victoria and I are going to get is a, a real nice, lightweight, full-size tripod. We'll just be able to set shots up better. We want to get into doing some real nice landscape photos too. And photos and time lapses of the stars, like real nice, proper ones. So that'll be another piece of gear that'll add to the whole repertoire of items to get nice cinematic films in the backcountry. Back off, Wicker. It won't end well for you if you carry on harassing me. The rain's coming in. One of life's great wonders, or you could say one of man's best inventions, is the potato chip. I need to get a little titanium grill so I can cook on the coals. 
could be quite a lot nicer than using the gas stove. And look what I found in the stream. Hop Federation by Pierre. It's nowhere near as refined as the Deep Creek. But it's quite a sweet, not too bitter, non-offensive, just kind of stock standard IPA. It's kind of, you know, you don't get that kind of thick, rich mouthfeel you do, like, with a hazy. But you get that clean, hoppy, mouth-watering bitterness. Mmm. There was probably mowers roaming through here back in the day. There's probably remnants here, that's why it's called Mow Park. I should rename it to Wecker Park. I think that's all the rain for tonight, which is a good thing. We don't need any more rain here. Mmm, beer's good. How much better is it having the Sony camera and the good lenses? You can actually get a good quality image in the night time. So the rain's back, more rain for Nelson. It's quite glorious under this tarp and the fire's just roaring. All this light coming at me is just from the fire. It's amazing. Fire is roaring, giving me so much warmth. The main event. I put them into a, a Ziploc bag just in case. Because you wouldn't want Dijon mustard in your pack. In here, I've got two beef patties. and the cheese that I'll melt onto the burgers. And in here I've got Scottish Baps, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, Waddy's tomato sauce, and Lewis Road Creamery butter. I don't really know what a Scottish Bap is. If anyone could tell me what is a Scottish Bap, it just looks like bread to me. A dose of it. Salt and pepper. Bombay. Gotta set these burgers cooked down now. I'll put 
put the cheddar cheese on it, smoked cheddar, and the Scottish bat is just steaming on the top. They're quite a thick patty, so I'll let that cook through. I'm loving the low light capabilities of the new camera. It definitely makes a huge difference versus the GoPro. I I'm I'm, can capture what I want to capture. My cooking show in Mile Park. Patty's cooked. Get some of this Waddy's tomato sauce. Get a good coating of that. I'm going to chuck the patty on. She's slipping a bit. you got to get the Dijon on there. Heaps of it. Heaps of Dijon. All over that patty. And that's a Mole Park burger. Oh man. That's exceptionally good. I like the Scottish BAP, whatever that is. I don't know if it's better than brioche. Probably not. They're quite thick, these patties. The rain has decided to start falling again. Pretty heavy. I think I'm gonna get into bed now. I'm feeling pretty tired. It's not really cold, but it'd just be nice to lie down. It's been an awesome evening. Great camp. Be an easy walk out tomorrow, and I hope you get a good sleep tonight. I should do. I'll let you know how my um, Cedar Summit mat goes with the quilt and the pillow lock system. The rain's pretty heavy. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be like this. Should be all good. I hope. It was a lot colder over the night than I thought it was going to be. I just could keep warm with the quilt and the Cedar Summit pad. It was more the pad letting in cold from the ground than it was losing heat from the top of the quilt but I wrapped it up right around me and was sitting there like this Ooh. so yeah there's actually ice on the tarp and I haven't got up yet to have a look around but I'd say it's pretty cold quicker no no The lovely treat for this morning. I can confirm that this is one of the hazelnut mockers. This is the top of the tarp. It's frozen. Big puddles of ice on it. This is the morning. It's 
sand's all got a nice crisp frost on it. It's pretty cool, Mile Park. It's a bit nicer when it's not all clagged in with cloud and you can actually see. Such a nice morning. <clears throat> Real happy that I could come out to see this. Pretty nice to get the little fire going too. It's melting the ice on the tarp. But it's putting out good heat. I love burning the manuka. It's great stuff. Man, what a morning it's been. So relaxing in here. I don't really want to leave. There's probably lots of areas you can explore in Mile Park. Like, way around in these bushes. Which would be pretty cool. It's such a nice, accessible spot. Takes like two hours to get here. Took me longer because I was filming and taking heaps of photos. But that's awesome.
the ice is melting off the top. The Cedar Summit Guy Line design, eh? So fiddly. The pillow works good with the um, Cedar Summit pillow lock system. I could roll around in the night and I wouldn't have my pillow sliding off. That's the quote. Done. Done. Well, that was the camp. All packed up. I'm gonna make my way back out. A couple of hours walk. Hope you enjoyed that trip. It was pretty cool using the new camera. Can't wait to get in the microphone as well so I can get really nice, clear audio. If you like the video, subscribe and like if you did, because that's cool. And yeah, hopefully plenty more cool trips coming. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the walk out. And I'll see you next time.